The John Morris Show, episode 114. In this episode, dealing with the fear of looking stupid. The John Morris Show, your life on code. Ladies and gentlemen, John Morris. Hey everybody, welcome back to The John Morris Show, johnmorrisonline.com. So did you feel that little bit of tinge of anger reading the title for this? It's kind of funny, isn't it, how aggressively we react to anything that even seems to question our intelligence. It's something for you to pay attention to. Anyway, I remember the first time I questioned whether I was seriously not smart enough to be a coder. It was a very sobering moment for me because my whole life I'd been told just how smart I was. I'd always learned things really fast and people had noticed and I never really had much trouble with school. I, in fact, school was kind of boring for me in a lot of ways. I never studied. I rarely took notes. I only half paid attention in class. Yet, I seemed to remember most of what was taught, and I always did well on my tests, and I got good grades. So, when I was a few years into learning PHP and hadn't got it yet, it sort of rocked my world. It had me questioning everything I thought I knew about myself. And I remember I just kept thinking, why can't I get this stuff through my thick head? Then one day, I hit rock bottom. I can vaguely remember the code. It was something to do with pulling data from a database, and I think it was a multidimensional array. And at that time, I was still messing with that stuff, trying to figure it out, and I hadn't really got my head around it. So I'd been battling with this code for a few days, and I was starting to get frustrated, And I finally decided that I was just going to ask for help. I was going to swallow my pride and do this. Now, I usually avoided forums because I saw how nasty other developers could be to to noobs. And I subconsciously think I knew I couldn't deal with that because my ego was already pretty fragile. So I was kind of stuck. And I finally just said, you know what? Screw it. I'll ask. And I went, found a PHP forum, signed up, and I asked my question. And I will never forget the response I got from one of the members there. It was the thing that I had been dreading the whole time. It started off with, are you stupid? And then he proceeded to rip my code to shreds and explain why I was an idiot and how bad my code code was and how I should fix it. So needless to say, I was humiliated, I was angry, and I think worst of all, a part of me thought that he might actually be right, that that I was indeed too stupid to learn this. So that's why I've now, now that I've made it through and I know that I wasn't too stupid, I vowed to try and help other developers get over this hump without being a complete a-hole about it. So that's why, for example, I created my PHP 101 course because it gives you the most important PHP skills you need to learn so you're not sitting there struggling for days to figure out code all on your own like I was. Or so you don't feel like you have to be brave, that you have to brave the wrath of the forums. And so you can be confident whenever another developer happens to see your code. And so you don't have to put up with these know-it-alls. And so you can make the transition to coding for a living much, much faster than you would doing it all on your own. So if you're someone who's been struggling to learn PHP and ever question if you're going to be able to do this and if you were smart enough, It's the perfect course for you because it'll put those questions to bed once and for all. So seriously, check it out at johnmorrisonline.com slash php. But the most important thing, in my opinion, is that know-it-all and that forum was wrong. I wasn't too stupid, and I often wonder where he's at now. Given how I know karma tends to work, I wouldn't be surprised if he's the one serving up chicken plates in some greasy restaurant like I used to. So if you've ever had any of those doubts come up, I'm with you. I've been there. I know how it feels, but you can't let it stop you. Use it as fuel to drive you to be aggressive, to take action, to push you to take risks, and to keep pushing on what it is that you're after. You owe it to yourself to do this. You don't want to look back 20 or 30 years from now and wonder what if. I watched my parents do that and It's maybe the most excruciating thing I've ever seen another person go through. So I want to encourage you to get after it. Now, if you want a quick start, again, you can head on over 
to johnmorrisonline.com slash php and enroll in my new php 101 course all right everybody that'll do it for today thanks for listening hope you enjoyed this episode if you liked it be sure to like it so they know that you like this kind of content if you know somebody who could do with hearing this i'd appreciate if you share it with them and if you haven't yet be sure to subscribe so that you never miss an episode thanks again for watching we'll talk to you next time